Welcome back to Talk Today. It is 8.43. Well, Emma Wolfe and James Bloodworth are with us for a final look through this morning's papers. Let's kick off with Emma. Vaccines to prevent cancer. Sounds like good news. Yeah, it does sound like good news. And we've been nasty about the NHS and their obese mannequins, so let's be nice about them. This is, this is really good news. It's researchers looking at the possibility of finding personalised vaccines which use our own body's immune systems to target um, cancers recurring mm -hmm. after we've had operations to remove a tumour, often ca cancer occurs. Um, so this is sort of, you know, harnessing the body's own immune system to lock onto certain abnormalities in cancer cells. The thing is, it's within five years, and I do feel like a lot of these good news stories, they say within five years, within 10 years. So, so it's coming down the line. It's definitely, definitely good news, but it's not here right, right now. You're optimistic about this, James? I mean, this was like a story. I've, I've been reading this same story yeah. for the last few years, and it's always like jam tomorrow in, yeah. the, in five years' time. I mean, it's a good, it's a, it's a good positive story. I mean, there are advances in, in this area in science all the but time. But you can't so. get an appointment at the GPs. And yeah. how much does it cost to have personalised immune system immunotherapy? And cancer if somebody's had cancer, I get that. But I have to also say, you can't get an appointment anywhere. So that that uh, am I missing the point? We talked something about yesterday about what people are being trained on. People want to be able to go and see a GP, don't they? The basics, yeah, they want to get the basics right first, I think, at the moment. It's very interesting. James, um, this will resonate with loads of people in the brilliant current bun. Uh, page 14, thousands of pubs are at risk of closing if they're hit with a £1 billion tax blow. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, there's only 100,000 pubs left in the UK. Only 100,000? Um, and business rate relief is currently 75%, but it's, it's set to come to an end. Um, I don't think it's just pubs, in fact, that will struggle with this. I think shops in generally, because it's small business rates. Um, and I also think with pubs, it's not, not just the rates that are a problem. I think more of us are staying in. Um, it's become prohibitively, prohibitively expensive for some people to, to drink out. They tend to buy cheaper booze from the supermarket. And they, have, they watch Netflix instead of going to the pub now. And people who smoke, obviously, they can't smoke inside. It's winter. Um, on, on a serious note, before you're pregnant, you're a pub <coughs> girl, aren't you? you yeah, like, yeah. I, I still am, even though I am pregnant. What do you drink? Cranberry juice. You like the pub, though? You like the atmosphere? I love the pub. I think it's, you know, it's a great British institution. I like going and sitting down and talking to people. Clubs are too noisy I bet that me. really annoys them. They've just gone to the pub for a drink <laughs> and you turn up going on about all those things. Do they not just Veganism. Go, veganism. Left-wing ideology. <laughs> <laughs> Just have a bind. Are you a pub? I imagine you're a, a pub bit quiz. Of a... I love no quiz. Pub quizzes are They're great. They're fantastic. Pint of beer? No. They're like me. Haven't Glass been to of a wine. pub or a, or a restaurant. Look at that. I love it. Three years. I haven't been to James, a restaurant. I, I, I haven't like been to a pub or a restaurant for about three years. Why? I've got a little baby. Oh, yeah. Little no life at all. You don't. Yeah. You have no life. I only come to work to get away from it. Work and child. But there's different things that pubs can do. So the pub near where I am. They'll offer, like, they open earlier in the day. They'll do, like, brunch yeah, offerings and coffee. Or they'll offer a work-from-home kind of package. I think where it's you really can... good the way they're diversifying. It's so good. Or little do... screenings of films or mum and baby things. There's so, so many things that they good. need to do now. Because pubs, for me, because we're not as much of a religious society anymore, we're far more secular, we still miss that central focal point of community. And for me... That's the pub. There we Is go. It? I'll get off my soapbox. But yeah, I love it because... And I... your local AA meeting will be taking place <laughs> at London Bridge after this programme. Go to the pub service for a no, coffee. No, no, but lots of people my mate work... Rob says he'd love to go to the pub with you. Great, Rob, done, sorted. But a lot of people now work from home from the pub and it doesn't sound oh, like Oh, come that. on, here we go. No. Tuesday, you... Wednesdays and Thursdays off. Yeah. What does that spell? You sit yeah. in a yeah. cosy corner work of the pub, yes. order some coffees and a sandwich. It's not what going to work's about. It's, it's yes, difficult, it though, because on the one hand, you know, there's this health messaging, we need to drink less, we need to be healthier. Then yeah. on the other hand, it's like, oh, we need to go in the pub because they're closing. So it's, it's yeah. a bit of a mixed message but there. But a really important message to, to cut through the mixture of messages. So it's like, I agree with you on that is that pubs aren't just for alcohol. They're about socialising and they're about community. But, Emma, we're going to move on now to a story in the mail. Kate yeah. Middleton... Can I put my hand up here? You're going to put your hand up where? My kids go... My kids were at this school for eight years. Oh. Oh. Just so you're aware. At what school? Kate Middleton has revealed her son Louis is using the feelings wheel at his school. A feelings Lambrook. wheel. Lambrook oh, oh thanks for throwing that out. Oh, well sorry, done, I brilliant. thought it was... Well, it's yeah. No, it is Lambrook. Yeah. Um, um, what's a feelings wheel, kids? Right, so if you want to talk about things... Um, I mean, I'm so sceptical about this. I'm so, so sceptical about I'm, my I'm, three-year-old coming I'm wondering coming why my home. kids went to this school. Is my... that one of them dodgy things? It, it's talking about your feelings. It's, learning, it's for children to learn how to express their emotions. So they have a feelings wheel and they have colours on the feelings wheel oh. and a different colour might express a different emotion like that we have a zone thing in my in my son's nursery and he comes back from nursery and he talks about 
his rights and his feelings, and I'm very sceptical. I don't think little how children... How old is he? He's three. I don't he's think, right. I don't oh think little God. children should have rights, and I tell him, you don't have human rights, I'm the mummy. <laughs> so I'm a, bit, I'm a bit cynical about feelings wheels. A but feelings wheel? Have yeah, these I mean, people I, ever had kids? No, I think, I think exactly, kids, Jeremy. Kids should basically be slaves for their parents. Exactly. I mean, I, I think it's... There's so many things I think schools should prioritise over this. Um, I think, you know, we were talking earlier about cookery lessons in school. In school, that would be a very CPR. valuable way to use the time. For instead a three-year-olds, three-year-olds aren't in school. But then, now this is really, oh, no, yeah, this yeah. is really interesting because you know we talk about the sexualization of our kids and we talk about education in its entirety. Are we not doing things too quickly to our kids? A feelings wheel at three. No, come on. So, well, no, well, it's about. It's about you just said about cookery. Surely, I think you're overreacting to this. But for young, for young kids, how old's Louis? Five. Four. Six, Four. Something so like I think that. about six. It's yeah. literally five. He's five. Like your feelings wheel right now would be red and it would be anger. It's just a thing Where's for that little come from? for little kids. Oh, I don't I mean my feelings daddy didn't take me pony riding. I, well, yeah, I, quite. Talk to your parents. They but, say things like, This makes me feel sad, mummy, when you say that, and you think, well, you know. Deal with it. I'm gonna say it. it even more. Yeah, but it's a way of expressing themselves rather than getting frustrated or having a tantrum, which they do anyway. Or whatever. It's it's you know. Oh, they cut away as I was doing the same <laughs> thing. <laughs> because the it's, it's on just my all side. gobbledygook to me. Uh, right, we'll move on then, since it's all gobbledygook. Uh, we, we should get a feelings wheel in the studio, actually. Yeah. Let's do that for next right, week, imagine guys. That's a, imagine that's a feeling. But tell me what you're feeling. Uh, like I need to move on. Okay, um, so, good. James, internet shoppers continue to face terrible delivery services. I agree. It's an absolute flipping nightmare. Yeah, you get so... on your feelings wheel, then. Yeah, exactly. I'm cross. The worst online couriers have been named and shamed. Um, it's, it's kind of breaking their promises, so they say they'll deliver at this time, and then you get the notification just before. Yes. You've waited in all morning, then you get a notification to say it'll be... And I want to see if... Later are... on, and then you get another notification later on when you're expecting it, and you end up waiting all day. Oh, uh, it's just not there? I know who the worst culprit is. I'm not going to say it for legal reasons, Why but I want to try and read if they're is on the list. Is it Amazon? No, I'm not going to say. Fair enough. Can I uh, just point out, I've never, ever, ever, on my own, bought anything online. I wouldn't know what to do. My because you've got does. staff for that. <laughs> no. My wife does it for me because I don't understand where you're supposed to put everything in and then there's a home address and it's uh, useless. Yeah. Go to the shops. The person, the, the company that I thought was the worst has been named I'll the name worst. Them. I'll name them. Who is it? I, I think, think everybody thought. Everyone sort of. I don't want to see allegedly. this. Where is it? Allegedly. Yeah. Every, formerly Hermes. All right, I've read it out. Allegedly. That's, we're allowed to say that because that's in the, uh, the, the time. It is frustrating, though. I don't know how much you use online shopping. Yeah, um, not a huge amount, but it's very frustrating when they say they've delivered and you literally open your front door and it's not there or they've delivered it somewhere else altogether or they've taken a photo of your front door and said it's there and you've waited in for eight hours. I mean, the whole thing is a bit of a joke, really. James, should we ever have sold off the Royal Mail in, in, re to re oh, replace it with something like wow. this? Come on. I used to be a postman and I say no. Did you? Should, yeah, I was Did a postman you? while I was at university for three years. I was uh, Royal Mail Did you Mail wear the shorts Nottingham. in the summer? Yeah, we oh, had to. Did you ever get yeah. bitten by a dog? Yeah, round, Do you ever get yeah I got by my hand, dog? yeah, a little bite on the hand. Do you ever yeah, get through the letterbox. Positioned by a woman whose husband was at work. Come on. Uh, that Opening happened, the curtain once, suddenly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, all the all the cliche stories did happen. Yeah. Uh, most people have been bitten by dogs. I got chased by a dog, had to jump over a fence once. But let's talk about the woman who uh, propositioned you when you delivered your, your, your No, mother. I'd rather not talk about that. <laughs> uh, let's talk about dogs. But um Life's not easy when you look like Ryan Gosling. But it shouldn't no. have been it shouldn't have been privatized, no, I don't think. Um, I really want to do this because I know what we're going to get and I need some support here, JB. Uh, Emma, male, page five. Men are more likely to feel less medical pain if the doctor is female. Yeah, so they did tests on uh, sort of... Um, they did uh, short laser pulses under the feet of men who being examined and uh, they found that if it was a female doctor, men feel less pain. I think men are more afraid to... Sh they want to look tough in front of the female doctor rather than actually feeling I think pain. they're distracted by a female doctor as well. as well. I think they're yeah. maybe feeling a bit less I think a lot of my friends distracted. won't agree with what I'm going to say. I think women are far better at handling pain than men. I think men oh, are yeah. probably... Oh, yeah. Everybody would agree with that. You want your mum... I even... I mean, my mum's um, dead, but I still want my mum when I'm in pain. I, I mean, yeah. let's be honest, and I'm not just saying this because you're saying it, because I'm saying it because I'm going home later and Vic will say that's true. I mean, you know, giving giving birth is slightly men quite positive. Men would be we don't in really... bits trying to give birth. Well, I think I mean, more than bits... Cold. A male cold is like a, you know, national there's a, bit of na there's a bit of man hating there. I've been very polite to you, but yeah. So every every month, some women experience period pain that is oh, equal, not that Absolutely. equal yeah, to a man having a heart attack. Imagine that every single month. But we power on through.
Right, we've got to move on to the most amazing story now. This is on page 21 of The Sun. Um, no, it's not. It's absolutely not. I've moved on to a different story. This We're... is the story the other day, right? Uh, the Sunday roast in a sandwich. It was in The Sun, a meat and two bread. First of all, please welcome to Studio One the man who I've designated will eat this... Sam Ellard, round of applause for Sam Ellard. Welcome, Welcome back, yeah. Sam I hope Ellard. you're hungry, by the way. There's Bloodworth, you're wrong. getting one. Look I at can't. this. There we go. Can, oh, give us a hand, please. Right. So this is I called the I drop that, ultimate way. roast dinner sandwich. It has slices mm. of roast turkey, beef, mm. gammon, pork, served in a bun along with sage and onion Macaroni stuffing. Well. It and also has roast cheese. potatoes and mac and cheese. And, and how many can I just for a knife and fork? Say, health and safety have asked me to do this. Nicola Thorpe, who's a vegetarian, is gagging to have some, but it's got meat in it. She's asked for a... a, a really you've asked some. for a, a... I want a Yorkie. A, a, a Yorkie. Oh, we've got a oh, Yorkie. Oh, we've got a Yorkshire bird. Bring it in. Oh, my God, God. Uh, Emma Wolfe's a vegan, so she's just naturally the most boring person in the world. Don't worry about that. Um, and I can't eat because I'm on a diet, so Sam. that's lovely. Oh, Special so delivery for my favourite Nicola oh, Thorpe. There thank you, go. you Sam. Sorry, oh, my Jeff. God. Jeff. Oh, I noticed you had time to do this in your busy schedule. Anyway, right, so, <laughs> gentlemen, I want you to get your gnashes around how, that. Are you going to go... How do you eat it? No. Oh, no, I think you should try it for the camera. Can't though. be doing the knife. I think you should try and put. Take a mouth. No, you've you got to eat like a sandwich. I'm afraid. Take a How, it's not possible One. to get your mouth over that, is it? Well, Change well you I think need I, to I prove can't it. it up. It's going to. I take try. the Yorkshire off. I take the Yorkie and off, and then I try. Then I try take a Yorkie. Now you've gone all northern. No, no, it's her. Yeah, it's me. I think of a Yorkie as a chocolate bar. No, it's a Yorkie. Oh, there look at, look at, right. That actually looks insane, doesn't it? I'm ready. One, go. Get your boys. Yes, lads. Good lads. Yeah. Is it yummy? It's not too bad. A bit cold. Yeah. That's cold. absolutely insane. Not it's too bad, though. Nice. I think I've got gravy on my mouth, but I think for the purpose of this, it's fine. Uh, it comes with a jug say, of gravy, but I think you've got a little splash on the say, side. I haven't eaten meat for 20 years. That smells quite nice. How much does it cost? It Do we know how much? We're... 7 99 that is. Thank and you very much. That is a bargain. 888 calories. Which, you know... Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. You, can, you can get... That's quite I'm not, not going to mention Subway or other places, but yeah. you can buy a baguette that's about 2,000 calories. Okay. Gammon, pork, beef, macaroni, cheese, a sausage, gravy, stuffing, a yorkie on top. Oh, he's uh, celebrating you. Good. No, I'm not Nicola, are you tempted to maybe come out of unretired from being a vegan for this? No, 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 I'm good. I'm veggie, um, but no, meat's not Sam, for me. Sam, on your next unsuccessful date, would you take a woman to a Toby and offer her a big Sunday lunch mm -hmm. in a bap? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Imagine eating this on a first date. I've got gravy on my hands, gravy on my mouth. Cheap I mean, date, eight ridiculous. pounds. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Eight quid, no, it's six hours. Do you know what? Cost of living crisis, that ain't This is the way bad. forward, isn't it? I think. Uh, thank you very much indeed, Emma, James and Sam as well. Get, look, I've never seen Bloodworth so animated. It's a free dinner. <laughs> uh, lots more after the break. The Sun's Trevor Kavanaugh will be here uh, just talking about the sense of panic, the hectic manicness of the last 24 hours in Westminster. I'm only doing this because Gobby's having a Yorkie and Talk TV's royal editor Sarah Houston has been binging the new series The Crown whilst we've been on air. She'll be back with a verdict. It's almost 9 o'clock. We're live across the United Kingdom. This is Talk Today for Thursday. They're eating. I'm sleeping. Been back in three, don't go anywhere. <laughs>